Hello and welcome to today's express form video blog session on the concept of assignment rules. Today we'll be looking at how we can do this automatic routing easily in the ServiceNow system. So let's dive right into the platform. I'm in as a system administrator on my express instance and let's navigate to assignment rules. So I'm simply going to search it in my upper left hand navigator and open up my assignment rules module. You may have a few examples on your instance currently, but let's take a look at creating one from scratch. So I'm going to press new to make a new assignment rule, and I'll note a few things as we begin. First of all, assignment rules, we're going to make sure to qualify two pieces of logic. First of all, when this assignment rule is going to apply, and second of all, who we're going to assign in terms of a single specific user or a specific group. We're also going to go ahead and define the order in the system. So the one with the lower order will be running first. So we're going to go ahead and maybe let's say we want to do an assignment rule here for software incidents. So we can specify any time what table we want this assignment rule to run on. So in this case I've got not only tables I've created by my own, but also the tables you're provisioned with, such as incident problem change. So let's go ahead and select incident and then define what conditions we want this assignment rule to run on. So for our case for software incidents, I'm going to go ahead and say anytime the category is software, and maybe I'll just add an or statement in there as well, and I'll say maybe anytime the CI so if I have a configuration item, maybe that's related here, I'll say anytime the configuration item, and if I scroll down to show related fields, I can also pick then the class. So I'll say anytime the class of my configuration item is software. So I'll go to configuration item, and I'll pick class. So anytime the configuration item class is a piece of software, I'm going to go ahead and apply this assignment rule as well. So that's a great part about our automated routing and assignment rules. Not only can it be on simple things such as just the categories of what's been submitted, but you can also apply it on more complex items like the actual CI that's been recorded or referenced in that incident. So we'll say that or the configuration item class is going to be maybe software. So I've got my two pieces of logic set and then I'm going to say when to run this for when to assign it. So let's say we'll assign this to a specific user if I wanted to, or maybe it just makes sense assigning it to my IT group, and we'll assign it maybe to my ITIL user here. So I'll go ahead and set the order number and make it a nice lower order so it runs first, and I'll press submit. So when I come back in the system here and create a brand new incident for example so we'll go to create new and let's say I simply didn't select a caller I left the category maybe to none so we didn't select a category but I selected a CI that's a piece of software like this Abacus client and you know maybe need software update help and let's take the word software out of there because we know it'll run with software as our keyword so, you know, maybe need update help for version. And I'm simply going to go ahead and submit this then in the system. So we can see saving, we'll submit it, and we'll see just like that, my assigned to switch to the ITIL user, and my assignment group is the IT information technology group per that assignment rule logic we set up for my configuration items class, then dictating who I'm going to assign in the system. So I hope today's explanation on setting up assignment rules and how easy it is to set them up sort of provides some clarity into what we can do with the process. If you have any questions or future requests for topics to be covered, please leave those in the comment section below.